Life Not Supported. Whoa there, astronaut. Welcome to the next fast version of Life Not Supported. Work in progress, yada yada. Early access, um, oh. Life Not Supported launches into early access just one minute after next fest ends, which would be June 26th, I do believe. So, like four days. Thank you. That's good to know. This version is older than the upcoming early access version, so there will be more polish and less bugs when it, when it hits early access. Life Not Supported. Um, <laughs> we've even got a little countdown down, down, down at the bottom here. Uh, single player and co-op, which is also good to know. But let's do it. Twin in space. Twin in space! Hello, Demos. How you doing? You are home. Well, welcome, welcome home. Life not supported in space. Looks like we have a little bit of a, a rough situation around us. A little bit of um disassembly of the space station. Grober, lovely. Okay. We got a we got a rough space suit. Duct tape duct tape, yep, wonderful. Duct tape. Cobar to dislodge. Air tank. Wonderful. Okay. I have a feeling that this one is not... Oh, oh okay. We're... Alright. Bye. This one is probably not terribly usable. Because of that. Wow, Boots pulling out the dad joke. Jeez. Alright, so what what exactly are we doing? Scrap metal. We are we are scrapping. Okay. It does say at the very bottom, under my face, collect twelve scrap nearby, use duct tape and place makeshift platform. Okay. We had a little bit of a collision over there satellite thing colliding with some space crap. Alright, cannot scrap the scaffolding. Inventory. I have 13 scrap metal. Okay, so we're good. Um, use duct tape and place makeshift platform. Use duct tape. Duct tape is our build menu. <laughs> Alright, makeshift platform. Uh, area too close to another ship. Alright, let's... Uh... Hello, Kinder. Welcome. Oh, bunch of shit just spawned in. Hey, we got air over there. That's nice. Uh, okay, build menu. Makeshift platform. Too close to another ship. How far away do I need to be? Ah, that far away. Okay. I have made a makeshift platform. Place and build crafting table. Place and build a disposable air thruster. What was that? Oh. We have space poop. I just pooped in a bag. Space poop. Material. Human waste. Plant food. Full of bacteria and minerals. I, I did, indeed. <laughs> Alright. That's a thing that's happening. Okie dokie. Um, place and build a crafting table. How do I uh, do that? Crafting table. I need four more scrap. Okay. Welp. That means I need air. 
or uh, scrap, scrap is the word I was looking for. What is this? This is a little beacon thing. Lovely. Lovely. Alright, so my little platform's over there, and it's pitch black. Hard to see. Um, so that's going to be a challenge. But let's, let's build that crafting doodad. Crafting table. Crafting table. Uh, so this is a space-based survival -y game. And that is the extent of my knowledge of this game. Craft. Okay. Craft sip container. Requires scrap and glass. Crafted torch requires scrap and electronics. Oh, electrical, sorry. Um, refined materials. Fill sip container. Dubious hydroponic solution. Sip cooked potato. Sip raw potato. Sip rehydrated green bean curry. Okay. I don't know exactly what the sip is, honestly. But it's a sip container. Uh, this one is called Life Not Supported. But we need life to be supported, so uh, we need to we need to work on that. All right, I need more scrap, so let's go get more scrap. I feel like the scrap sound effect needs to not sound like I'm pulling planks off of a piece of wood. Gotten more scrap. Scrap is good. So what else do we have? Do we have do we have rocks and stuff? Like can I just rock? Nope. However, I can accidentally launch a rock towards my platform. That's cool. Uh, what about what about ice? What about ice? Grab ice. I have ice now. Wonderful. Your cat came to get you because you hit the cat's TV turned off while he was watching it, and that was very upsetting to him. You know what? I don't blame the cat. I would also be upset as well. Box. What is the, what is in the box? What's in the box? Battery and electricals. Oh, wonderful. I needed some of those. Oh, hey, my air is running low. Uh, consume. So my next step is then going to be take uh, aiming for the air that's floating out here. Because it feels like I need it. Air, wonderful. Alright. Uh, beacon still active? Good. Wasn't sure if we could go very far without the beacon. So, what's this? Grab scrap dish. Scrap metal and electricals. Oh, well that's actually worth worth grabbing for sure. Cat TV is very important, yes. How else are they going to get all of the important cat news? Okay. Um... I need a disposable air thruster and a short range bacon. I don't know exactly how to do those things. Okay. Ice melter. Hydroponic. Air locked oven. Air tank holder. Material holder. Tether anchor. Short range bacon. Okay, found that. Floor torch, wall torch. I don't see the disposable air thruster. Ah. Disposable air thruster. Ah, I see. Um, okie dokie. Cool. Alright. 
Uh, let's go... I'm, I'm going to try to get another piece of glass, because I think I needed a second one. Ah, there's another piece of glass. I'll grab some of these things. Exactly. See? Boots has his, his finger on the pulse of critical cat news. Alright, so far in terms of spacey survival -y games, I kind of dig it. What do you guys think? Oh, Demos is going to bed. Alright, Demos. Have a good night. Alright, I see my I see my platform. I did not get nearly enough oxygen. Uh, I feel like I need I feel like I need more of that here. Let's go this way and get these uh, inventory. I have three, so let's consume the one. We're going this way to get the three oxygen tanks that are over here. I do wonder about the um, the respawning of materials, if there is any of that. Like, do we need to worry about just running out in the near zone and having to go further and further afield? Or do they respawn over time? Uh, I do not know. But with the disposable thruster that we're going to be putting on our ship, we may just be constantly traveling to new locations. Maybe that's a thing that we'll be doing? Uh, where was that other tank? Tanks. Tanks are up here. One thing I am noticing though is that horizontal travel is pretty easy, but vertical, both up and down, are kind of tricky. Because they don't seem to have as much um, as much fluidity as horizontal, so you don't continue traveling in the direction that you are facing when doing horizontal travel, or vertical. So if I go horizontal, I just continue to go horizontal for a while, but it doesn't appear to do that nearly as much with vertical. So you have to expend a lot more gas to go vertical, which feels a little bit weird considering space. Um, also, I would love to see directional. So point direction, go forward. Because currently it's it's pointing, it's going that way. So there is clear, a clear cut um, X, Y axis that we're working with. Rather than just going in whichever direction my face happens to be pointed. Like, I would love to be able to point that way and just go that way. But instead, I have to do the usual uh, up and down axis travel. Okay. We are home now. I, l I love the crafting bench, which is just glue, duct tape, cardboard boxes. That's great. <laughs> Yeah, it's got, it's it's got the same kind of feel as Breath Edge, um, along with you know all the other space-based crafty survivals. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna use this. So I have air, and we're gonna craft. I don't know what these are, the sip containers. Um, I feel like I feel like that should be explained. But for right now, we're building a disposable. I pooped again. I pooped again. <laughs> We're using a, uh, we're building a disposable air thruster and a short-range bacon. So let's do that. Duct tape, disposable air thruster, uh, rotate. Sure. Ah, I see. I see.
question is, do we then eventually stop? Or are we now just going that way forever? It feels like we're stopping very slowly. Yeah, judging on the speed of the other moving objects nearby, I think we are slowly stopping. Um, the other thing was the short-range bacon. Short-range bacon. You can just go right, right there. Bacon. Bacon has been turned on. All right, we're gonna go this way. Get some more of that oxygen. Yeah, bacon. Short-range bacon, specifically. Alright, we can't use those pipes. Anything else in this thing that I want? Or can have? No, cannot have. Where's my short range bacon? Over here. So one concern that I have is that I don't have any food or water. And I have not gotten to the point of getting food or water. Um, it does say craft a sip container and build an ice melter. So I feel like that's the, the water coming in very quickly here. Build an ice melter. Airlocked oven. Basic ice melter. Here we go. Right, right there. I don't have that last item. What was that last item? Battery. Oh god. Uh, craft a sip container. Craft. I have a sip container. Sip empty. Ah, I see. Um, and then we also have fill sip container with stuff. So we have fill sip container with the dubious hydroponic solution. Um, fill sip container with cooked potato. Fill sip container with raw potato. And the rehydrated bean curry. I uh, do need sip water for all of these, so I do need water. So sip container is your canteen, now that I've gathered the meaning of it. Um, but I need to find a battery. I don't have a battery. I use that for my bacon. Um, battery. This might contain battery. Inventory is doing fine. Okay. Battery. Not battery, electronics. Alright, uh, battery. Where might a battery be? How does one go about getting a battery? No battery in any of those as I pick them up, so I have to find a different source of battery. I think the only time I got a battery was uh, when I found the box, I think. But I don't see any boxes. Box. I see a box. I do hope this box has a has has battery in it. Also, how far away am I? Oh, I'm very far away. Alright. Hopefully that's not my range. But either way, I just need to go towards the planet. It'll be fine. We'll find him again. Box. Box. 
battery. Yes, boxes have batteries. This is good. Uh, which means I'm going for that box as well. Oh, also, what are you? Are you a battery? It's a, just a straight battery. Even better. Those are difficult to see in space. Cardboard boxes are easy, but those just straight batteries, those are hard. Dehydrated food! I can eat! Huzzah! And yes, those are the range of my my things. That's great. Uh, oh, it's dark. Um, the sun just went behind the planet, and uh, it's real dark. Which one of these is mine? I think that one's mine. So we're gonna head towards that. Oh god, I can't see a thing. I can see the slightest glint of stuff. Alright, we got, we got plenty of ice though. So we should be good. Um, I've gotten... Okay, I haven't actually gotten all that much ice, but I got some. Yeah, look how fast our inertia drops. Oof. Alright. So that just forces you to have oxygen going constantly. Battery. Ice. Sip. Go. Nice, nice. I desperately need this food to happen. My thirst is now at red. Red is generally bad. Alright, that's happening. That's happening. It's doing the do. How do I... Ah. So, it fills up first and then it drains into the sip. Got it. Sip. Water. And I pooped again. I pooped again. Alright. More water, please. Okay, so now, now we have no, we have, we have no more guidance whatsoever. Okay. Get more air. Um, so now we have light would be a good thing to do. A crafted torch. I think that might be a hand torch. Whether or not that's usable or useful, I don't know. Um, I don't have anything resembling a potato, so that's not a thing that's going to happen. However, I do have dehydrated food that I can then rehydrate into green bean curry, which I absolutely shall do. Uh, if we look at our duct tape, we have options for makeshift platforms, uh, makeshift walls, crafting table, ice melter, uh, zero to unlock. Future updates. Um, hydroponic bay, airlocked oven, can cook food by heating it, heating its own airlock. Alright. The duct tape build tool is kind of cool. I like it. So, hydroponic bay requires a light, oxygen, battery, glass, electronics. I could definitely do this. I don't have any seeds or anything, so I don't think that would be useful for me at the moment. Um, air tank holder, so you can store many tanks. Um, would be good. Material holder. 
uh, air thrusters in various directions. An anchor for you to tether can be placed anywhere in your ship. I don't know exactly what that's for, but that might be... Um, my first thought is something like uh, void train, tether to your ship, so that you don't get lost from it if you're like thrusting, for example. That might be a thing. Decoration. Hack into the ship computers. What ship? What computers? Uh, wall torch, floor torch. Alright, so we do need light first. Light. Lovely. We have light. Ooh. Light. Uh, we have light. This is good. But then... Duct tape. And we can do a floor torch or wall torch. Let's do a floor torch. So we can just have light. Lovely. Uh, let's do makeshift platform. Because I would like to expand out. Interesting. Ah, okay, gotcha. Alright, I have expanded out my uh, my living quarters a little bit. However, that has used almost all of my scrap. Get a sip. Uh, craft the dehydrated food. Sip the curry. Nom nom nom. Get another ice thing going. We're surviving. We're doing. I don't know what we're doing, but we're doing. Alright, I would like to make the hydroponic, just to see what that looks like. Um, so let's do that. Basic hydroponic bay. Sure. Right there. I need another light for that. Requires hydroponic solution. That we can probably do. Alright. Sip get. Hydroponic solution. Um, dubious hydroponic solution, by the by. With the feces, the sip, and the ice. Correct. Insert. Wait. I can consume? Oh, that sounds like a terrible idea. Insert. Requires a valid seed item. Okay, that's what I thought was going to happen. Because um, I haven't seen anything like a seed yet. But let's tap a tap of this quick. My first curiosity is... Do we just stay around Earth, or can we just go? Do we just, do we just go? Wait a second, are we rotating? We're rotating! Because I didn't put the thruster centered. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't think that was going to be a problem. And now we're bouncing off of shit. Oh god. Oh god, this is all going wrong. Oh god. Um, help. Help. <laughs> I have cause problems. All right, we're now we're now stuck in a spiral, a very slow spiral. Uh, and it does appear to be slowing down, so we should be fine. Box. Yeah, so I, I have many questions. Um, primarily around... 
uh, how infinite is all of this? Like, do we just keep going a direction and just constantly have stuff? Or is it more of like a stay in Earth's orbit kind of situation? Um, I do not know. Are we still going? We're still going. Interesting. Hold W and find out. I mean, I could just turn on my infinite thruster. We are, we are kind of going a little bit crooked. Um, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, disposable air thruster. Uh, Hang on. What's that? Disposable air thruster. Uh, rotate. Uh, this is, is over there. This needs to go right about, right about yonder. On. On. We go. We go straight. Oh shit, we're going straight at the planet. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But hi, Pine. How's it going? I do wonder... Uh-oh. 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 Rock. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, ice. Give. Thank you. Oh, that rock went away. Uh. I, I wonder what else there will be to this game. Because I, I like it. But I feel like... feel like I'm directionless at the moment. And I feel like we're about to run into a rock. Rock. Bonk. We're going, we're going. Uh, space is indeed a very thick fluid in this game. Uh, the inertia drops really fast. Like, oh boy, really fast. Rock. Bonk. Rock. Bonk. Oh. Rock. Rock. Let go. Let go. We're going. We're going. Uh, let's see, you need to turn off so we can try to correct a little bit. Rock bonk. Now we're going that way. So I do I do have the option of more thrusters to, to correct better. I also have the option of vertical thrusters. So I'm just I'm just double forwarding just to see what happens. Kind of curious if it's even possible to hit Earth, or if it's just going to skybox me. Uh, I am noticing, though, rocks. And not scrap. Little tiny chunk of scrap right there. But mostly rocks without scrap. Which concerns me. Because uh, that... That answers one of my earlier questions of how viable it is to continue going a direction and getting materials. <laughs> yes, I am I am definitely listing. Oh god, rock. Yeah, depending on if I've hit rock or if I Yuck. Um if I've hit rock, those those tend to throw me off, but also I pooped. I pooped! Okay, now I gotta correct back this way. Nope, nope, wrong way. This way. I'm trying to... I'm trying to correct it. My thrusters are roughly evenly spaced, but not perfectly. But mostly my, my funky directions are rock-based. No, still listing a little bit leftwise. Could also be this thing. This could, could also be a little bit more hefty. Causing me to lift, list a little bit. But so far, yeah, once we get out this far, it's just rock. 
So I'm wondering what the methods are for getting materials. Like, are we going to be mining rocks? Ow. Jerk. Um, or are we going to be just kind of SOL? Because <laughs> there are the occasional tiny piece of scrap, but not much. And it makes me wonder. Also, I wish the music... Hey! There's a thing. Hang on. There's a thing over there. Hang on. Uh, no, don't leave without me, please. using up all of my air to do this. Uh, sure. Go that way. Go that way. Oh shit, thirst. Right. I need to drink. Thirst. Yes. Alright, let's get you turned off. That was part of why I was trying to aim at the planet, just to see if you can start go in planet words or if it's just going to be an infinite uh, an infinite space between here and there or rather functionally infinite hello rock how are you doing you doing good yeah you're doing good good rock so what's this thing and how how pray tell was I to ever find this without stumbling around blindly uh, there's got to be some sort of scanning mechanism at some point because this would not have been found any other way. All right, we're we're good, I think. I think we're good. We're good enough. What was this? Thing? Download data. Blueprint unlocked. High powered something or another. Blueprint unlocked. Unknown. I, it said high-powered something, and I don't see anything that's called high-powered anything. In here. Oh, high-powered tech. Uh, torch. High-powered torch. Okay. A useful contraption to see incoming debris, especially at night. Alright, fair enough. I, uh, can I have any of this? Can I have? This feels like this would be a very useful thing to have. No. No. I am not allowed to have any of this. That is sad. Um... Is this thing moving? Or is everything else moving? Am I moving? Are we moving? It's definitely moving. Rocks are moving. Stuff's happening. Oof. Alright. Um... I'm going to call this one quits, for now. Um, I'm curious how much has changed with the Early Access version that's coming very soon. Um, so one one issue I see is obviously the lack of resources once you get a distance away. Um, the other issue I see is despite how much I spent collecting resources, I got a single piece of food. The sip, great. Got got water aplenty, as long as you can get uh, get ice going. But the food, I got none. I got I got one single piece of food that I was able to use. Um, so that's going to leave me dying very quickly. So there's got to be some other method to get food, and I wasn't finding it. Um, I have many questions. Questions about the infiniteness of the materials. 
how one was supposed to find this thing. Because um, it's not like Subnautica, for example, since that's kind of like the standard that people compare st survival games to. Um, it's not like Subnautica where you have a clear direction to go. You don't have as much verticality in Subnautica as you do with Infinite Space. Um, there's clear visible biomes off in the distance. Um, true, food would definitely be scarce floating in the void for sure. But we've got this. We've got this lovely hydroponic system made out of scrap metal, but no seeds to put in it. So I can't grow my own food if I don't have seeds. So there's got to be some method to do this sustainability thing. Or, you know, you're just dead in space, which, you know, fine, fair, realistic. But um, there's got to be a method. And like this thing, I couldn't see this off in the distance. So there was no aiming towards this or having a goal to find this thing. It's just, it appeared as I was traveling. So I was never going to see that thing off in the distance to, to aim for it. Um, so I have several questions about how this game is supposed to function. Um, I like it, but at the same time, it feels like it might be kind of challenging. Which, if that's what they're going for, they have succeeded greatly. But I'm done with it for now. This was life not supported. We'll see what comes next, whenever they get their release going.